This is my Eastern River Cooter. I think that's how you say it. Um, my grandma found him or her in her yard. Some people call it a hieroglyphic river cooter because of the designs. Um, as you can see the markings, if I can get close, I flip him and you can see his eyes and coloring. And I'm going to just use this little fork to turn him over so you can see the underside of him. If you can see that. Oh, he doesn't like that. And I think he wants to get down. Yeah, and he does. But... Get a good look at him. Oh, I'll try this again so you can see the underside of him, and he'll flip over. He has beautiful markings. I'm just gonna get him out this corner and try to let him bask in some sunlight. Or lamp light if he'll let me put him back up here oops okay well he had a little bit of algae on him and I rubbed it off with some q-tips but other than that it's a great looking turtle I'm still learning about them and in case anyone wanted to know what one looked like uh, the Ogeechee River is uh, somewhere back behind my grandmother's house and when it rains a lot and floods everything comes up in her yard so um, you can see them so I'll be finding another habitat for him or aquarium um, so he can live a better life right now he's just a hatchling small trying to get you a view of that tail there it is it's come out there it is and see if we can see it better there's that tail And this is what I feed him or her. Um, it's natural aquatic turtle food hatchling formula by ZooMed. And I just put a couple of petals on the water top. And he goes underwater and snaps up and eats it. He eats well. And I leave this lamp on for like eight hours a day keep the water warm sometimes I cut it off at night but other than that you can see he's just a beautiful beautiful turtle so if anybody have any great ideas or tell me how to better care for him I can be reached at Melissa dot Nevels, that's N E V as in victory, E L S, at gmail.com. And I appreciate all the information I can get. Thanks.